and welcome to another Scope Traders tutorial. Here I'm trading GE General Electric and it is 10 minutes past the start. Now I'm already short here at 23.76. As you can see, the trade is doing well so far. My stop is just over the highs at 23.80. I just fast forwarded it here to show you that once it hit the level, it bounced straight back up to 2380. Now it's got strong, strong resistance at that level and that's why my stop is just above that line. You might also notice that the red line that is pretty much just skimming the top of every single candle that's called the VWAP, and the VWAP really offers a strong sense of resistance. If you notice, every time it touches that VWAP or comes close, it bounces right back down. Now, I'm only 300 shares into this trade, and the reason being is I was doing this just for a tutorial. I'd already made my profit for the day, and I made that within the first five minutes of the day. So this one, I just saw it lining up. It lined up perfectly. It's 10 o'clock right now. And we are just, it's just forming perfectly. So I've sped it up, it's 300 times. So we can enjoy the whole trade and just see how it pans out. When I first started out, this trade, I would already close it. You know, I would have feared that Oh, better lock in my profits and I would have closed it down at two, I think it was 265 or so. Yeah, I would have closed it out. But here, you can see that it's about to go back over. But I have my stop in place here. So why would I want to close that out now? And why would I want to close it out at 2365? You might notice that on the right is the S&P 500 and the market is becoming quite bullish off the bottom. Now General Electric is pretty much following it and that's my only concern is that I'll get stopped out and then it'll come back down the way that the market will. But as you can see the VWAP touches it again, bounces back down. So we're into this trade and you can see that I've sped it up so then it's not too boring. But you can learn a lot, you can really see it. I encourage you to pause, fast forward, rewind. It's very similar to how I started learning day trading. But no one was actually there talking me through it. So <laughs> it's the reason why I wanted to start this service and start this tutorials and um, just give everybody the inside information that they actually need from setting up a broker to what levels to enter and eventually I'll have a trade room which I have some top line traders in place for that. So as you can see it's going very sideways. So you can see where our breakout level is here around the two 2365 level. Now, the market is not helping. As you see on the right there, that's where I keep the S&P 500 and it will stay there for every single trade session. I use it as an indicator to let me know whether I should get into a trade or not. And sometimes if the if the market is quite bullish, you really shouldn't be going short. And if it's vice versa, then that's why I use the S&P 500 as an indicator. And once that momentum goes, once it starts to decrease, this General Electric tray will hopefully break that 65 level. Okay, it's approaching it right now. It's touched that level three times, four times, I think, uh, from what I can see along the bottom there. Now, a trade that I missed here is OSK, it's very similar. You can see just above there, but that's already broken out. Look to the right again, S&P is about to break down further. And as you notice, the OSK in that chart on the top 
and my General Electric trade are looking also to break down. Now it pierced that 65 level and it bounced straight back up because there is a lot of support there. Now the next target would be to break this 2360 level and there it goes. Going to just uh, trim off three quarters of my trade there and there we go. So I've realized $46 which actually wasn't the best fill because I wanted it to be down close to that 50 area. Once again you notice how I've read the market, I've read that 23.50 will have another strong bounce and I keep a remaining 100 shares due to the fact that the market is absolutely tanking right now and it's looking to close the day's gap. For some reason General Electric is still going up so I'll just let it ride out 100 shares in there let's just see how far it goes down see how we go and make a little bit more money out of this trade just squeeze a little bit more out now like I said I was only trading light on this tutorial I'd already made my money and when I make my money I just use fund sizes for the rest of the day and I only trade if I have something I really like I have two chips for the day it's pretty much how I trade I have two chips I want to trade I want to make a decision if I see a perfect trade, there's one tri chip. Then I don't rush, I have a look, scan for ideas. Oh, look at General Electric just broken down. There we go. Look at the market, look at General Electric. It's doing very, very similar things. I was going to close out the position there, but it bounced back off around that 40 mark. It should close the gap because when a stock comes down this far, closing the gap here is exactly what it will do. But um, yeah, I'm looking to close it out soon. I probably should have already. Anyway, we're up $72 just on this trade. Very basic, took it, there we go. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll continue to add live updates.